Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 530. I'm Alicia Rodriguez. St Senator Scott Brown visiting Western Massachusetts to spend some time with voters and public leaders here in the Pioneer Valley. 22 News reporter Shane Simolan joins us live in Springfield to tell us about Senator Brown's visit to the city earlier today. Well, Senator Brown said he discussed problems and solutions with Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno, but Brown also discussed the health care options ahead and those shootings in Arizona. Well, I think you always have to be aware. I mean, it could happen anywhere. During a visit to Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno's office, Senator Scott Brown called Saturday's shooting in Tucson, Arizona, horrific, tragic, and senseless. He said his thoughts and prayers go out to the family of Representative Gabrielle Giffords and everyone else who was hurt or killed during the shooting. But as a fellow lawmaker, he wouldn't be changing the way he interacts with the public out of some kind of fear. I'm not quite sure what you could have done in that instance. It seemed to happen so quickly. Um, and I encourage each state to look at their own individual uh, gun laws and uh, safety procedures. As we've done, we have one of the strongest gun laws in, in Massachusetts. But during his visit to Springfield City Hall, Senator Scott Brown said that the main focus of many lawmakers now is health care and that he would vote to repeal last year's overhaul law. So Brown says he may not ever see that vote, though. The House of Representatives is planning on the vote, though it has been delayed after the incident in Tucson. Either way, Brown says changes eventually need to be made and that the nation's plan doesn't mirror the one that existed here in the Bay State. We already had health insurance, uh, health care coverage, where 98 percent of our people are insured. There are instances potentially where we would actually have to lessen our care and coverages to adhere to the federal program. He says the cost is the problem, something they'll all tackle when work resumes in Washington. He said he's continuing his tour of Western Massachusetts, among other things, including a visit with some local companies. Live in Springfield, Shane Simolin, 22 News.